Alright guys, we got the demon here today. Uh, just gonna do a little quick opening up unboxing video to see all the stuff that comes in it. Uh, uh, just got it, so yeah, let's see what happens. Open it up the case here. We'll see the gun, which is there, which is nice. It's got a pretty color. A uh, nice lime green and white, uh, which is a good color combination in my opinion, always. And with the gun, um, it does have uh, uh, panel grips here on it. Uh, panel grips on the gun there, uh, which do have a little OLED screen, which is kind of faint because of the carbon fiber style grips, but it does have that on there. Uh, and then the top, uh, I guess this is a little case of lube, which it is. Move the foam. And in here, I'm guessing, is a charger and maybe something. Else. Oh, pretty custom anodized Allen keys and the charger. Um, and it looks like some adapters in case I ever move out of the country. So let's move that over there. And in the bottom of the thing, cool wrapping paper that Vanguard always loves to give to make their guns seem classy and fashionable. Stock grips, uh, manual, which looks like a pretty decent manual here. Reminds me a lot of a Planet Eclipse manual, which is never a bad thing because Planet Eclipse manuals are amazing. Um, maybe not as detailed as the Eclipse manual, but it does have pretty much everything that you need to know. O-ring kit, all that, I mean O-ring chart and everything. Warranty card here, which is blank, so I can still fill that boy, bad boy out. A few O-rings here, uh, Demon O-ring kit, I don't know if you can see that right there. Demon O-ring kit, which is good to have uh, just in case anything happens to it. It's a spool valve gun, so uh, spool valve guns sometimes do have a few issues, but hopefully we won't have any here. Um, both the barrels here, uh, they don't have sizes on them, so I'm not sure which size is which, but I think it comes with a 689 and a 685, if I'm not mistaken, and the barrel backslash, not really back at all, just to get it threaded into the gun, which is kind of cool. Reminds me of the old... I think it was the Lucky Barrels that were like that. And then the little little battery pack there, um, which is very similar to the Lux battery pack, which again isn't uh, anything to be complaining about. Um, let's throw all this stuff back over here and take a look at the gun. First off, in the hands, I was talking to some guys over at the Ego Mafia in there, and it, it is a little, uh, a little more wide than I'd be expecting. Uh, it's a little, I guess, I don't know if bulky would be the word, but it is a little bit bigger frame than what you, yeah, I guess bulky would be the word. Bigger frame than what you would usually expect for a gun. Uh, you know, a newer gun these days. Uh, they're all trying to be the smallest, the lightest and everything. But this gun actually has a little bit more grip to it, which, I mean, isn't particularly a bad thing. However, uh, some people may not like the feel of that. I, you know, I'm a pretty big guy. I'm um, about six foot two. I have pretty big hands, so I mean this feels pretty good for me, but for some people, some of the smaller players, might be a little bit too big of a gun for them. Uh, I mean, you know, it's all about personal preference, obviously, but, um, you know, it's just a little bit bigger than, uh, I guess, more modern traditional guns nowadays. Uh, more of the high-end guns, you know, everybody's trying to be the slimmest, the smallest, and the, the lightest, but the Demon seems to be a lot more, uh, you know, focused around, I guess, bigger more experienced players maybe but uh moving along to the gun it does have uh you know vanguard's great oled board there uh which as i said you can kind of see but it's got these panel grips which kind of fade it out which isn't that big of a deal because as long as i see that it's on that's all that really matters um and you know i've had a uh, creed before creed i was very impressed with the board on i really uh like the vanguard creed board uh it's got you know all the mode that you need in them uh psp all that good stuff like that. I guess PSP is all that we, you know we re I really need in particular because that's all that I play on. Um, but it's got that on there if you ever need it. And one of the great things about modern day technology and paintball is that we can have guns without any macro line, which no macro line here, which is great. Um, the bottom line, very very similar to a Lux design, but in my opinion, um, it feels a little bit better than the Lux. Feels a little more sturdy than the Lux, but. Um, yeah, let's uh, take it out, shoot it, and we'll see how it does. Alright guys, today we got the Vanguard Demon here. Um, we're going to be taking a few shots out of it, seeing how it does. Let's get a little zoom in of it there. It's a good looking gun already, just coming straight out of the box. Um, this paint we're going to be shooting underneath there is about, I'd say, 
almost a year old now. It's just been sitting in my room. I just found it in a box. So uh, that's what we'll be shooting out of the Demon today, and we'll see how it does. All right, guys, so here is the Vanguard Demon. We are shooting at, it looks like, 15 semi. Yeah, 15.5 semi-automatic. Make sure we're looking at the gun here. Shoot that tree over there. Alright guys, we're doing a kick test on the demon here. Holding the back. Let's get it balanced. There we go. Kick test. All right, now we're going to be doing an accuracy test on the demon. I'm going to be shooting for that little small tree there on the right-hand side of the screen, uh, the little bony tree. Uh, I'd say it's about 30 or so, 30 or 40 yards away. Maybe not that far, probably about 25 to 30. But let's see how we do. All right, so in conclusion about the Vanguard Demon, um, I guess conclusively I'd have to say that this is a very good gun overall. I haven't brought it out to a field yet. I just got it today. However, um, as far as I can tell, uh, shooting it shoots really well. Very, very little kick. Uh, it's a pretty light gun, and like I said, it's very solid in the hands. If you're a little bit bigger player, um, it's very, uh, I guess, for some people, they like it, some people won't. But in my opinion, I like it. Um, I like the panel grips on it. Uh, but, you know, the stock grips give you a little more grip on them, obviously, which is going to help out a lot of people, too. But like I said, overall, it's a great shooting gun. Um, it hosts, or it boasts to have very good efficiency. Um, you know, supposedly getting 10 pods or whatever. I know that Chris Nottings did a video of efficiency, did a really good video for that. Uh, doing apart for all of us to where we all don't have to shoot pods and pods of paint thanks Chris for that but you know overall it's just a great gun um, highly recommended uh, I've shot you know about 15 luxes um, this shoots a little bit different than a lux but it is very smooth to compare to a lux so um, I guess that's it uh, for the Vanguard Demon and hopefully we'll see a little bit of field testing this weekend and uh, yeah Killmax 101